Hello guys, in today's lesson on physics calculation, we're going to continue the great job we started on two-dimensional motion. In our previous lessons on two-dimensional motion, we discussed the types of two-dimensional motion, which are the, uh, you know, the projectile motion, the circular motion, and the symphonic motion. Now we've perfected everything on uh, what we call the projectile motion. And today we're going to be discussing the circular motion. So what's the circular motion? Now look at a circular motion. A circular motion is a type. It's a type of two-dimensional motion. When we talk about two-dimensional motion, we can also call it angular motion. Don't forget that the reason why we call it two-dimensional motion is simply the fact that that the body or bodies undergoing this kind of motion move in both x-axis and y-axis. So it's a kind of, it's a type of two-dimensional motion which involves, it involves bodies moving in a circular, in a circular path. Now we all know what a circle is. When we talk about a circle, this is what a circle is. So when we have bodies moving in a circular path, either about an axis or, you know, when you have a body moving in a circular path, we we'll call it, you can say that body is undergoing what we we'll call circular motion. So circular motion is quite a, a broad and complex and kind of motion. So we're going to be discussing everything about it. But today we're just going to be looking at introduction into circular motion. We are not doing any calculation on circular motion today. So we're talking about circular motion. What are the parameters? What are the, you know, the, 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 the concept, the certain things we use uh, or we mention when it comes to circular motion. So we have the frame concept, or I can also call it a parameters under circular motion. So we have concepts such as this under circular motion. We have the kind of concept we have, kind of parameters we have under circular motion. We're going to be discussing speed. We're going to be discussing velocity. We're going to be discussing acceleration. Um, we're going to be discussing uh, speed, velocity, acceleration. We're also going to be discussing, uh, you know, we're going to be discussing force, stroke tension, force stroke tension, and also we are also going to be discussing energy. Prop, uh, you know, probably we're going to be discussing energy also. So these are the terms we're going to be using when it comes to you know circular motion. So you're going to be discussing speed, velocity, acceleration, force or tension, and energy. But today we are not uh, going, as I said, into calculation. We're just going to be looking at.